Hi. Now in this last part of the question, what we've got to do is find the shaded area R, which is bounded by the line and the curve. And we've got to calculate the exact value of that area R. You'll also notice that I've updated the diagram with the coordinates that we had to find for the points A and B in the previous part. They were 2, 8 and 9, 1 respectively. So if you'd like to give this a go, just pause the video, come back when ready and I'll run through the work solution. OK, welcome back. Now let's see uh, how we'd go about something like this. Well, first of all, it's going to be a problem on integration. Remember, if you integrate a curve between two limits, it works out the area bounded by the curve to the x-axis. So to do this, then, what I'm going to think about doing is dropping a line to the x-axis from point A and a line from B to the x-axis. So if we were to work out the area bounded by the parabola, this curve y equals 10x minus x squared minus 8, between this value here, which is the point where x is 2, and this point here where x is 9, we'd be finding out all of the area in this channel down through here. And then I'm going to subtract from that the area underneath the line here, between 2 and 9, this area in here. And that will give me the area of R. All right. OK, so we start then with the area of R. So area R equals. So we need to integrate the curve here, y equals 10x minus x squared minus 8. Let's just put that in brackets because we've got several terms. 10x minus x squared minus 8. We integrate this with respect to x, going from 2, x is 2, to x is 9. All right? And then from this, we subtract the area under the straight line. So that is the integral of 10 minus x. Again, we've got a couple of terms here, so we need to put that in brackets, integrate it with respect to x, and that goes again from 2 to 9 in the direction of x increasing. All right? Now, you could merge these two integrals together. You could say 10x minus x squared minus 8 minus 10 plus x, all integrated between 2 to 9. But I'm going to opt for a different me method here. OK, you can do this. It's up to you. But what I'm going to do is going to integrate this one, but we'll talk about this integral in a moment. If I integrate this one in the usual way, we have 1 to the power and divide by the new power. For this first term, we get 10x squared over 2. For minus x squared, add 1 to the power. That becomes x to the power 3 and divide by the new power 3. And then for the constant 8, we just get minus 8x. And we put that in square brackets with the limits at the rear here going from 2 to 9. And we could, as I say, do the same for this. This would be 10x minus x squared over 2 between the limits 2 and 9. But I did say that I want to come to this and I'm going to talk to you about a different way we could do this. What we've got here is that this shape that we're trying to find the area of in this integral is a trapezium. And quite often you get familiar geometrical shapes in questions like this, like triangles and a trapezium here. So I often find the quickest way of doing this is just to say minus the area of the trapezium. OK, so if I'd been doing this, in fact, I wouldn't have even written that. I'd have just said this integral minus the area of the trapezium. OK, we'll talk about the air of the trapezium in a moment, but let's just start working our way on this one. The 10 can be divided by 2, and that gives us 5. So we've really got 5x squared here. And now we just put our limits in. We put 9 in, so we've got, for the first one, we've got 5 times 9 squared. 
and then we've got minus 9 cubed over 3 and then minus 8 times 9 and then we've got to put the 2 through remember we subtract what we get when we put the 2 through so we're now going to have 5 times 2 squared all right and then minus 2 cubed over 3 minus 2 cubed over 3 and then minus 8 times 2 okay and then we've got minus the air of this trapezium so how do we find the air of a trapezium well again you should know this formula what it is it's half the sum of the parallel sides times the distance apart well the sum of the parallel sides these are the parallel sides these vertical sides and the height of this one is 8 and the height of this one is one unit the y values okay so it'd be half of 8 plus 1 the sum of the parallel sides and then we multiply this by the distance apart which is the difference between the 2 and the 9 7 units and I think that's a lot quicker to work with than doing the integral alright okay well if you work this sum out you'll find that you get 343 over 6 that's the exact value okay and it did want the exact area so leave it as a top heavy fraction all right so hope that gives you an idea then how or well, certainly how I would go about that question